Hello, I'm Lana and today I'm going to be giving a bookshelf tour. I think a bookshelf tour is so long overdue because I have so many books and I really just want to show them to you. So let's jump right in. Starting on shelf number one. I love this shelf so much. First we have The Infernal Devices by Cassandra Clare. The first book in the series is... Uh, Clockwork Angel, second book is Clockwork Prince, and the third book is Clockwork Princess. Highly, highly, highly recommend. I mean highly. I love the series so much. Moving on over, we have the Mortal Instruments series, also by Cassandra Clare. I love Cassandra Clare. First we have City of Bones. Next we have City of Ashes. Next we have City of Glass. And next we have City of Fallen Angels. There are two more books in the series, but I'm not even close to getting to it, so they're not on my shelf right now. But I also highly, highly, highly recommend any Cassandra Clare books I highly recommend. I have only read City of Bones and City of Ashes. I plan on reading these sometime during the summer. But I love Cassandra Clare. Highly recommend all of her books, please. Next, we're coming up on the Legend Trilogy by Marie Lu. I love these. I love this series so much. First, we have Legend. Second, we have Prodigy. And third, we have Champion. I love this trilogy so much. This is one of my favorite trilogies ever. This actually got me back into reading. And I love her. She's such a good author. Highly, 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 highly recommend the Legend Trilogy. Next, we have the Throne of Glass series by Sarah J. Mass. The first book in the series is Throne of Glass. The second book is Crown of Midnight. And The Assassin's Blade is a bind-up of novellas that is a prequel to Throne of Glass. The third book is Air of Fire, and the fourth book, Queen of Shadows, is coming out in September. I would definitely recommend these. I love these. Throne of Glass took me a little while to get into, but it turned out to be such a good book. I recommend these. Next to Throne of Glass, we have the Ruby Red Trilogy by Kirsten Gear. I currently just finished Ruby Red, and it was very good. First, we have Ruby Red, the first book, Sapphire Blue, the second book, and Emerald Green, the third book. Really love this. About time travel, I love the main character, Gwyneth. Um, just a great series, such great characters, amazing plot. I definitely recommend these. Next to the Ruby Red, we have Hush Hush by Becca Fitzpatrick. I know there are definitely mixed feelings about this. I have not read this. And I probably never will because I have so many books ahead of it. But I really want to read this. Next to Hush Hush, we have Shadow and Bone by Lee Bardugo. I bought this on the same day that I got Hush Hush. And I still haven't read it because I'm kind of scared to. But I really want to. I really want to just get to it this summer. So, Moving on to shelf number two. I love the shelf too. First, we're going to start off with The Divergent Trilogy by Veronica Roth. I love Divergent, if you haven't noticed. I have posters all over my room. The first book is Divergent, the second book is Insurgent, and the third and final book is Allegiant. I do not have four, four a Divergent collection because I just don't really want this, I don't want a story in Forest Point here, so I just keep these. But highly, 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 highly recommend. Next to Divergent, we have the Shiver Trilogy by Maggie Steve Otter. First book is Shiver, second book is Linger, and the third and final book is Forever. I haven't read these. I plan on starting this trilogy next month, and I'm very excited to read it. Next to Shiver, we have my Heroes of Olympus series, and I can't carry all of them with me, so I'm just going to show you. The first book is The Lost Hero. The second book is The Son of Neptune. The third book is The Mark of Athena. I have not read The Mark of Athena. I've only read the first two books, but I'm currently reading the Percy Jackson series. That's why. The Mark of Athena is third. The fourth book is The House of Hades, and the fifth and final book in this series is The Blood of Olympus. I love Rick Riordan so much, you should really go check him out. Next to my Heroes of Olympus series, we have The Darkest Minds by Alexandra Bracken, which is one of my new favorite series. The Darkest Minds is the first book. I just finished this, and it was very good. I am going to make a book talk sometime. Um, Never Fade is the second book. I am planning to read Never Fade and the last book in the Afterlife during Book Tubeathon in July. So I am planning to marathon the rest of this series. Moving on down to my third shelf. I love all my shelves. I'm starting on shelf number three. We have The Kane Chronicles by Rick Riordan. I have not read these yet, but the first book is The Red Pyramid. 
The second book is The Throne of Fire, and the third and final book is The Serpent Shadow. I am planning to read this series as soon as I finish the Percy Jackson series, and then finish the rest of the Heroes of Olympus series, and then I will get to these. Next, we're coming up on the Percy Jackson series by Rick Riordan. I love Rick Riordan, as you can see. So the first book in the series is The Lightning Thief. The second book is The Sea of Monsters. The third book is The Titan's Curse. The fourth book is The Battle of the Labyrinth. And the fifth and final book is The Last Olympian. I have read The Lightning Thief and The Sea of Monsters. I am planning to start The Titan's Curse in July, so I am very excited. Next, I have Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone by J.K. Rowling. I said I was going to read it this month. I'm not going to get to it. I have to get to this book next month. And I will, I promise. I'm very excited to start the Harry Potter series. Next, I have The Boy in the Striped Pajamas by John Boyne. I currently finished this last week. I read it on the plane. Um, I, I like the story, but it's just the writing in this book was very childish and a low level for me. So kind of the writing ruined it, but I enjoyed the story. Next, we're coming up on the Hunger Games trilogy by Suzanne Collins. I love this series. I started the series last year, and I finished it in like, I think March. Very good series. I really recommend this series. I okay. Um, the first book is The Hunger Games. The second book is Catching Fire, which is my favorite and most people's favorites. And the third and final one is Mockingjay. I hate this one. Worst one of the series. And not just because of the ending. But highly recommend the Hunger Games series. Next, we're coming up on the Shatter Me trilogy by Tehedda Mafi. The first book is Shatter Me. The second book is Unravel Me, which I am currently reading, and it's taken me five and a half months to get 220 pages into it, so I'm moving very slow on this one. And the third and final book is Ignite Me. Highly recommend this series. Next, I have the Vampire Academy series by Rochelle Mead. There are six books, I only have two. The first book is Vampire Academy, which I am still currently reading, and the second book is Frostbite. I am very much enjoying the Vampire Academy series. And the next one's Frostbite, and then there's four more that I have to get through. And then there's a spin-off series that I also have to read from her. So very excited to get to these. Next, we're coming up on The Winner's Curse by Marie Rakowski. I'm very excited to read this. I plan on reading this next month, and if I don't, I will definitely get to it in August. But very pumped to get to this series. Next, we're coming up on The Fifth Wave by Rick Yancey. I hear about this book all the time during book two. They say that it's the best book ever and you should really go pick it up. And I finally did, but it's not, to be honest, it's not on the top of my TBR list. It's more towards the bottom, but that doesn't mean that I'm not pumped to read this. Next, we're coming up on Paper Towns by John Green. I knew about John Green, but I didn't find out about this book until I saw a trailer for it when I went to go see Age of Adeline. And I saw the trailer and I was like, oh my god, that's a John Green book. And I really didn't know about the story until I kind of saw the movie trailer. And the story looked really interesting, so I picked it up. And I plan on reading this before the movie comes out. Next, we have Mapped by Ali Condi. If I said it once, I'm going to say it again. I hate this book. This is my, probably my least favorite book on my bookshelf. Hate it. I never even finished it. I got, I got 84 pages into it and I couldn't push myself anymore with this book. Hate it, never will finish it, and I don't recommend this series. Finally, we have Mrs. Kennedy by Barbara Leamy. I am very much into the presidents, and I started a thing on the first ladies, and Mrs. Kennedy was the first one on my list, because I really want to know more about her. Sorry for my bad camera angle, but I can't get any better. So, uh, starting on my fourth shelf, we have Half Bad by Sally Green. I am very excited to start reading this. I got this a month ago, and... It has mixed reviews, so I was intrigued by it, and um, I'm intrigued by the story, so I can't wait to start reading this. Next, I have We Were Liars by E. Lockhart. I know that this is a book explosion of the month, like months and months and months ago, but I was intrigued by it. I mean, the, the back, what it says, looks interesting. We are Sinclairs, no one is needy, no one is wrong. We live, at least in the summertime, on a private island off the coast of Massachusetts. Perhaps that is all you need to know, except that some of us are liars. Like, that intrigues me, so I'm very excited to start reading this. Next, I have Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell. I finished Eleanor and Park, and it was a great book, so naturally I went to go pick up her next book. I mean, I, I didn't really find this story as intriguing as Eleanor and Park, but I'm still excited because I love Rainbow Rowell. So, kind of also towards the bottom of my TBR list. Next, I have Eleanor Park by Rainbow Rowell. 
I love this book so, 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 so much. It was such a cute story. I feel like this is some things that a lot of teenagers go through and with Eleanor's parents at home and what goes on at home and she and Park kind of have like a forbidden love. I really enjoyed this book a lot. Highly recommend this book. Next, we have The Fault in Our Stars by John Green. I am so excited to read this book. I definitely plan on reading this next month too because I really want to see the movie because I love Ansel Elgort and Shailene Woodley and my policy is always read the book for us. So I am going to do that. Next, I have The Young Elites by Marie Liu. I am so excited about her new series. The Rose Society comes out October 6th, I believe, and this is the first book, and I really need to get through it next month because then I'm going to be ready for The Rose Society, and it's Marie Liu, so I'm probably sure I'll fly right through this. Next, I have Cinder by Marissa Meyer. This is the first book in the Lunar Chronicles. Oh my god, this book was amazing. I'm not a big sci-fi person, so... When I heard about this book, I was like, Cinderella retelling sci-fi? No. Totally wrong. This is one of the most amazing books I've ever read in my life. I need Scarlet. I crave it. I need it. I want it so bad. Next, we have Red Queen by Victoria Aveyard. I still have not made any progress on this book. I'm kind of trying to stay away from this book because, you know, it's not as interesting as some of the other books I'm reading. So, I'm kind of like stuck here. I'm not really making any progress with this book, but I need to finish it, so I will eventually. Next, we have The Girl on the Train by Paula Hawkins. This is kind of like a version of Rear Window, but instead of seeing it out of a window, she sees it out of a train, and it's in book form, not in movie form. But I love Alfred Hitchcock. I love Rear Window. I love the story, so I would love to read kind of like a little book version of it and at a different location, so I'm really excited for this. And finally, we have All the Light We Cannot See by Anthony Doerr. I am so pumped to read this. My mom's really mad at me, though, because I haven't read it yet, and she bought it for me. And that was like four months ago, and I still haven't read it, but I'm very intrigued to read the story. I love the plot. It's basically about this blind girl, and the Nazis occupy her hometown, and they have to flee. It's really interesting. I love World War II, like historical fiction. So you can see, I do have a fifth shelf on my bookshelf, but my shelf really isn't that important. I mean, it's all full of the books I don't like, but I'll just do a really quick little tour. We have IQ by Roland Smith, Heidi by Joanna Spirey, To Kill a Mockingbird by Harper Lee. I do love this book, though. I just don't want it on my shelf, so. Um, little Women by Louisa May Alcott, The Count of Monte Cristo by Alexander Dumas. I hate this book. And I have the Charlie Bone series by Jenny Nemo. I got this as a present, still haven't read it. And then I just have a bunch of posters. I have the Percy Jackson, I have the Percy Jackson poster that came with my Percy Jackson box set. And I have a Divergent poster that came with the Divergent Collector's Edition. So, love. Um, but that's basically my fish shelf, nothing important. And that was my bookshelf tour. Thanks for watching. Bye!